こんにちは、アイです。Hello, my name is Ai. I'm a Japanese mom who lives in Southern California with my two girls and my partner. In this video, I'm gonna introduce、uh, Japanese home cooking. Keywords are easy, simple, yummy, and Japanese. はい、えー、今日はこれを使ってあれを作ります。ね、I'm gonna using, you, using、えー、fried tofu pouches. <笑>油揚げ。油揚げ。Using a b r a g e I'm gonna demonstrate how to prepare Oinari san. Oinari san,、uh, in America people call it football sushi. And usually you can purchase、uh, already cooked skin at the grocery, Asian grocery stores. And you can just put the rice, cooked rice. But today、uh, I wanna show you how to make Oinari san from scratch. And Before I start、uh, demonstrating or cooking, I'm gonna share the story of Inari. O Inari san. So, Inari, what is Inari? Inari is the name of the god. Inari Shin, or Inari no Kami. Kami means god in Japanese. And Inari no Kami is the god of、uh, harvesting or farming. So, in old days, farmers worshipped Inari no Kami or Inari god. Uh, for the better harvesting, and、uh, the servant, servant、uh, of Inari no Kami or Inari ga is a fox. They believed fox is the servant of、uh, this god. So,、uh, fox's favorite food was fried mouse. <laughs> fried mouse. But in all these Buddhist, in Buddhist teaching, they say it's not good to kill the animal. So instead of fried,、uh, fried mouse,、uh, it's, a, it's like a mock, mock mouse. <laughs> instead of a fried mouse, they use the fried tofu, <laughs> a mocking a mouse. And it's、uh, served or offered to the gut or servant of gut to the fox. And then、uh, they open the、uh, fried tofu and fill it with the rice. Rice is the symbol of the good harvesting. And people loved rice and people hoped for、uh, harvesting good、uh, amount of rice. So,、uh, <laughs> deep fried tofu and then filled with the rice and offered to the god and god's servant, fox. So, fascinating story. Isn't that interesting? So, people called Oinari san,、uh, but sometimes they call it Okitsune san too. Preparing、uh, Oinari san,、uh, Inari sushi, is very easy, surprisingly easy. You just、uh, cook uh, uh, deep fried、uh, tofu with、uh, soy sauce, midi, and sugar, and you prepare sushi rice and then fill.、Uh, very easy.、Uh, so let's see how to prepare Oinari san. And for the filling,、uh, today I use just a regular、uh, sushi rice, but you can fill with like a brown rice, sticky rice, mixed flavored rice, anything you like. And sometimes I cook s o m e n and then put s o m e n inside of the,、uh, the skin, tofu skin or inari, or inari san. <laughs> so it's very、um, versatile. So let's see how to prepare Oinari san. This is the recipe for eight pieces of Oinari san or Inari sushi. You need eight square of aburage or、uh, deep fried tofu called aburage and square shape. Sometimes it's, they have a rectangular shape. For rectangular shape, you, ca you can cut it half. And one cup of water and one teaspoon of dashi powder. Today I use dashi powder, hondashi dashi powder. And three tablespoons of mirin, two tablespoons of soy sauce, and three tablespoons of sugar. And for rice, two cups of cooked rice. And four tablespoons of sushi vinegar. I bought the sushi vinegar、uh, already made at the store. And for the preparation of、uh, Deep fried tofu. First, cut the top of the aburage or tofu and using chopstick roll out. The purpose is to、uh, make a pocket. If you don't roll like this,、uh, it's hard to open up 
and fill out the rice. So before you cooking, you roll out chopsticks and make sure it becomes nice pocket. So using uh, your fingers, uh, make sure you open it, make a pocket. And then we gonna parboil, uh, heat the water, boil the water, and uh, press the uh, or abrage and cook for about two minutes. And the purpose is to remove the excess water and uh, the smell. Smell. And by parboiling, uh, it observes the seasoning better. So the purpose of parboiling is to get rid of the excess oil and then smell. And then it makes uh, abrage observe the flavor of sauce. So drain and then kind of wash with cold water and drain again. And we're going to squeeze out the water using your hands, uh, using finger and hands. Uh, kind of squeeze out the water. Water. <laughs> and now we're going to uh, cook. So uh, this is a dashi, uh, one cup of water and one teaspoon of dashi powder and three tablespoons of mirin, two tablespoons of soy sauce, and three tablespoons of sugar. I use the brown sugar. You can use any sugar. I like brown sugar. And first, you, you wanna boil. And once it starts boiling, place the abrage. And we're gonna cook over uh, medium low heat until uh, all liquid, all liquid is absorbed and uh, have only little liquid or sauce in the pot. And we're gonna put otoshi buta. Otoshi buta is called droplet, so it covers the surface of the food you are cooking. And purpose is so that the, uh, the food you are cooking absorbs the flavor evenly and cook faster. And otoshi buta you can make with aluminum oil and you, or you can buy. And we're gonna cook about 20 minutes until uh, all liquid is uh, go into the aburage. As you can see from the video, almost no liquid, a little bit liquid. And then we're gonna let it cool at room temperature. So turn off the heat, turn off the heat and then uh, press the Otoshi buta again and let it cool. Now we're gonna prepare the sushi rice and this is called hangiri. It's a special tool to mix the sushi rice with sushi vinegar. But if you don't have hangiri, you can just use the a regular bowl. And when you use hangiri, wet the, uh, wet the inside with a wet towel and place rice and this is I cooked uh, two cups of rice using the rice, uh, the cup, using the cup comes with a rice cooker. So uh, press the cooked rice in a hangiri or a bowl, big bowl. And we're gonna mix in sushi vinegar. So for two cups of water, uh, rice, 40 tablespoons of sushi vinegar, four tablespoon of sushi vinegar, using the uh, rice paddle, rice uh, spoon, <laughs> uh, spread the rice vinegar. And the way to mix is like a cutting rice. So don't over mix, uh, it's like a separating each rice, so that all sushi vinegar go evenly over the rice and then uh, we're gonna place the wet towel over rice so that rice don't get dry while you are preparing inarizushi and now we're gonna uh, fill out the rice in a, uh, each aburage and first of all, squeeze out some uh, sauce or cooking liquid before you start filling. And 
open up the、uh, pouch, open up the pocket, and make a small ball. Maybe half size of the tennis ball. Tennis ball size is a little bit too big, but half size of the tennis ball and make a rectangular no, 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 uh, uh, ball. <laughs> and then fill out. Fill out till the bottom. I used to work for a sushi bar and my sushi boss. So she, the owner told me、uh, it's good to fill out till the corner, the corner of the abrage when you make oinari san. He said that、uh, it's a pro, pro way. <laughs> and then pinch in the corner and then、uh, fold over. Again,、uh, before you filling rice, make sure it's open. Make a pocket and then make a rice bowl with your hand. Over, oval shape.、ね、I said a rectangle, but kind of oval shape. And you're gonna fill out. And again, according to my boss,、uh, professional way is fill out at the corner, bottom corner, and make a kind of nice shape. So, Folding bottom and folding side. <laughs> Make a shape, nice, up, nice shape. <laughs> and お稲荷さんできましたはい、えー、できましたお稲荷さんです、えー、これはあのおふくろの味フレーバーはフードマンメイクスマダーズ Food. <laughs> food.、Uh, my mom used to make,、uh, she, is, she was a nurse, and before she has a night shift, she prepared oinari san for me,、uh, and I, I loved it. はい、えー、それではいただきます。これ本当に美味しいですよ。大きな口を開けて食べちゃいます。はい。<laughs> It's much better than the one you buy at the store. Homemade oinari san tastes、uh, like a heavenly. おいしいおいしい何回も言っちゃうおいしいおいしいはいありがとうございます